I saved him, but I probably shouldn't have. I don't know what to do with you. You should have run somewhere far away. If I spend much more time with you, I'm afraid I might come to like you. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we'll be taking a look at a member of the Kuja tribe, Marguerite. Alright, let's deal with something important first and foremost. You might know Marguerite as Marguerite, and that is perfectly understandable because this particular character is subject to a bit of controversy in terms of name translation. Essentially, the official Viz manga volumes translate her name as Marguerite, while the official sub of the anime translates her name as Marguerite. I don't know why they're different, but being a manga purist, I will be using Marguerite for this video, so let's get to something a bit more interesting. Marguerite is a member of the all-female Kuja tribe residing on the island of Amazon Lily in the Calm belt. She is a very honest, quite innocent individual who knows very little about life outside of Amazon Lily. Marguerite was first introduced in the story when Luffy was sent to Amazon Lily by Bartholomew Kuma, following the events of Sabadi Archipelago. And this was, well, somewhat problematic because men are forbidden on the island, and Luffy, as I'm sure we all know, falls under the male category. However, the idea of a man setting foot on the island was so foreign to Marguerite that she assumed that Luffy was a woman for quite some time. Marguerite discovered Luffy after he had eaten a mushroom that began sprouting many, many other mushrooms all over his body. And so she and a collective of the Kuja tribe then took Luffy and removed the mushrooms from his body. Well, they removed all but one. And I'll leave just what that one was to your imagination. That was his penis. Elden Yon then realized that Luffy was a man, prompting Marguerite and the others to imprison him. During this time, Marguerite displayed her skills as a seamstress by creating new clothes for Luffy with a lovely flower motif. Upon escaping from the cell, Luffy abducted Marguerite in order to get his old clothes back, which contained the Vivia card for Silver's Relay. And despite initially acting hostile as a result of Luffy's actions, Marguerite began taking a liking towards Luffy, or more accurately, was incredibly curious about men in general. Upon realizing this, Marguerite quickly drew her snake bow and arrow and began began hunting Luffy along with the rest of her tribe. This was particularly dangerous for Luffy because Marguerite, along with the rest of the Kuja tribe, was able to use armament haki imbued within her arrows. Although this is the only type of haki Marguerite has been shown to be capable of using thus far. Luffy would go on to be captured when he accidentally came across a bathing boa Hancock, the Empress of Amazon Lily. As Luffy was due to be executed via arena battle, Marguerite admitted that it was her who found him and then attempted to save his life. This resulted in Marguerite being turned to stone by the powers of Boa Hancock's Devil Fruit. And this showed us that like everybody in the world apart from Luffy, Marguerite is captivated by the sheer beauty of Boa Hancock. So much so that when she eventually became unstoned, which I guess is a term now, she held no ill will towards her empress. During Luffy's trial by combat, he made a special effort to place the petrified bodies of the Kuja tribe's women, including Marguerite, out of harm's way. And after winning against the Boa sisters, Luffy requested that Hancock de stone the ladies of the Kuja tribe. Later at Elden Yon's house, Marguerite thanked Luffy personally for saving her life, which was a very sweet moment, followed by a less than sweet moment of Luffy finding out about his brother's impending execution. Upon Luffy's departure, he thanked Marguerite and her friends for saving him and promised that he would return to the island with the rest of his crew. Of course, the reality of Luffy's return would be less than ideal, as after the Paramount War, a gravely injured Luffy was taken to Amazon Lily in order to recover. Despite this, Marguerite was happy that he had returned and said that she would make more clothes for him, without frills of course. At some stage during the time skip, Marguerite became an official member of the Kuja Pirates, and along with the Boa sisters, greeted Luffy on Rusukaina Island after his two years of training. As a member of the Kuja Pirates, Marguerite then escorted Luffy to Sabadi Archipelago and assisted his crew by holding back a marine ship so that the Straw Hats could escape to Fishman Island. And the final thing we've seen of Marguerite thus far in the series was during a cover story, where she once more stepped foot on Rusukaina Island to show Luffy's 500 million berry bounty to the animal friends he'd made during his training. Some more fun facts about Marguerite. In One Piece Green, it was revealed that Marguerite was originally intended to be a Devil Fruit user. Quite specifically, she was going to have a zone type Devil Fruit with the ability to transform into a black cat. In the anime, Marguerite and her friends have a brief encounter with the Heart Pirates after the Paramount War. However, this does not occur in the manga. And finally, a truly useless fact. Due to her naivety, Marguerite has developed a keen interest in Luffy's Kintama, a Japanese slang term for testicles. At one point, she even asked Luffy to take them off so that she could have a look at them. And that pretty much does it for Marguerite. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.